I have a Samsung Galaxy A05 and in today's tech tip I'll be taking you through the process of the first time boot and setup. So I just took this out of the box and let's go ahead and set it up together for the first time. Now hoping there's some battery left in this phone and there should be some battery left you want to press and hold the side button which is also the power button of your phone until you feel a slight vibration or you see the Samsung logo and then you can let go and allow the phone to boot up. It should boot straight to the uh, first screen, the welcome screen. So on the welcome screen, choose your language. You can just tap on that language and choose a different language just in case the one selected there is not the one you want to use and then tap on start it's going to prompt you to insert a sim card you can do that or you can do that later but what you have to do here is accept the end user license agreement and the privacy policy and then tap on agree now if you want to agree to all you can just tap on that and agree to all automatically but i prefer to just accept what is required and tap on agree and then it's going to prompt me to set up using another device. Now, I'll do that later, so I'll just tap on skip. It's going to prompt me to choose a Wi-Fi network, so I'll just select my Wi-Fi network and put in my Wi-Fi password, and then connect. Now, chances are your phone might restart once you enter your Wi-Fi password because using Wi-Fi, it's going to detect exactly where you are and then restart the phone and prepare it for your specific region, okay? So as you can see, it says service provider setup, restart. So just go ahead and tap on restart. Once it finishes restarting, it's going to bring you back to this page. Do you want to copy apps and data? Don't copy. Of course, if you want to copy, you can just select copy and copy from a previous phone. But I just want to set this phone up independently. Next, you'll be prompted to sign in with your Google account. You can do that right now, or you can just skip and do that later. Now, I prefer to skip and do that later, but then you have to read and agree to the Google services. So just scroll down and tap on accept. And then it's time to put in a face ID, face recognition or face unlock, pin, password, or pattern. Now you'll notice there's no fingerprint on the Galaxy A05, okay? Either way, I'll just skip and do that later. Now it says it's getting my phone ready. Next, you might want to install the Smart Tutor. I prefer to skip that and tap on next and then it's going to prompt you to sign in with your samsung account if you want to you can just go ahead and sign in or if you're like me you might want to skip i'll do that later but then you have to read and agree to the samsung services so tap on agree and then choose your display preference whether you want light mode or dark mode to start with now obviously all these things are things you can change later so i'll tap on next it says i'm all set up tap on finish it's going to prompt me to discover and install some apps. I'll just skip that by tapping on later and then confirming by tapping on yes. And now I should be in my Samsung Galaxy A05. Okay, there you go. So that's basically how to boot and set up your Samsung Galaxy A05 for the first time. Now, like I said, you can come here to the settings later and customize a few things. You can change to dark mode if you want to. You can add a Samsung account. You can add a Google account. I'll be making subsequent videos on how to do everything on this Galaxy A05. It's going to be a whole playlist. So make sure you check it out if you have this phone or if you're planning to buy this phone. Thanks for watching. Comments and questions down below and good luck.